Hi there. So in this video, I am going to complete this side of this that we did last time. And I'm going to back it with um, another piece of card and decorate that. But I'll decorate both before I stick them together. So on this one, I've got this image here, um, which I'm going to add to it and then pop some other bits on there as well. I'm just going to ink around the edges of it first. These, um, it's called, uh, is it Forest Spirit, I think? I bought them on Etsy. Um, I cannot remember who they're from. I'm sorry if you'd search it up. If I can find it, I will put it on. Um, a link but I really cannot remember who it was and I apologize for that okay so I'm going to pop that on there and then I was thinking with some more of the leaves I've got these colors and I'm going to just go around in a circle make a circle with them I'm going to fix them with a brad and then I think I'm going to pop it up there. I'm not sure which way around yet. Maybe the red at the top. And then I'm going to hang off it. I've got these little bottles, tiny little, they're one mil little glass bottles. And I'm going to do something with that and then dangle it from there, I think. So I will just pop a brad in here. I'm just using a little antique brass one. I'm not sure if I'll have to pierce it. I can't find my pokey tool anywhere. I don't know where it's gone. I probably used it for something else somewhere. Um, that's it. I've got another one, but it's broken. Don't know why I'm keeping it because it really doesn't open very far. Let's pop that through there. Might be enough just to be able to get the brad through. Or not. Let's try this without stabbing myself. gone through it's probably gonna to be too big now it won't hold no nope, we've got it okay so I've secured that with a, with a little brad then with the little bottle let's just pop that to one side I'm gonna take the cork out and what I thought I would do is I've got the glittery nail varnish I'm just gonna see I don't know if this will work or not if I can just coat the ins Okay, the inside of the bottle with it. Try and stay in shot. I don't really like using glitter, glitter, it goes everywhere. I don't use it, don't like it. Um, but this may work. I can just get that coated all on the inside. This could work. So it looks like there's glitter in there. Bit of. That's quite good. I'm quite pleased with that. Okay. Let's just pop that down a minute. And then I'm going to glue the lid on. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of fabric tack. Around the cork before I pop it back in. There. That's, oh, I don't know if you can see, if I go up against that. 
that's worked quite well. I'm pleased with that. So it's a glittery little bottle now. Pop that down. Then I have some of this silk. Um, sorry, silk. And I've just pulled off a really thin strip of it. And I'm just going to wind that round the cork and the top of the bottle. And then I'm just going to secure secure it down with a little bit of fabric tack I just think this gives a really nice little finish to these bottles. There we go. And then just at the very end, a little bit more glue just to stick it down with. And that will secure that on there then. And that's our little, our little bottle with a cork top. So that I think I will hang from, from the, leaves. Okay, so I'm going to glue her down. I'm going to pop that over the top. I think, it's not going central with it. I'm going to go to one side with it. I think. that over the top there and maybe bring that in a bit there there and then we can dangle the little bottle down from there okay this I'm going to stick down with fabric tack as well I'm going to go all around the edges no, I really want this to stay there somewhere okay and then again fabric tag on the back of the leaves I'm going with the red towards the top and press that down and I'm going to let that stick before I touch the bottle because although there's not much weight to it, I don't want it to start pulling it off. I'm going to let that go off on there while I just do some work on this one. I'll put that to one side. So with this one here, what I thought I would do, I'm going to put up an image on this one, which is this image here. Again, it's from the same same download. I'm going to go around the edges, but I think I'm going to print some words behind it. I'll just go around the edges with uh, the walnut stain I'm using. I just like the darkness of it. It just defines the edges really, really well. Some words onto the edges, onto the card at the back before I stick this down. Okay, so that's that prepped and ready. Metallic bronze. 
front. I think I'm going to try the metallic bronze and see see how it comes out. Make sure it's the right way up, that would help. Okay, so I've covered the entire page with the lettering. Because I'm going to put the image on there and I just want it to show either side of that image. Okay, so I am going to use Fabri-Tac to glue this down with. I'm going to make sure I get all the edges stuck down. So I'm going to go quite close to the edges. it push out towards the edges so your glue spreads sticks all those edges down so that's the image down on there with the bronze lettering behind and I'm going to use one of the uh, baby wipe flowers in the top corner it's in a similar colours up on there, like so. And I think also I may, I've got these little wooden stick-on dots. Am I going to use those or not? Um, yes, I think I am. Okay, so with this, I'm just going to glue it down with some, again, Fabri-Tac glue. I could push the pin through um, and attach it to the card because we're sticking them together, but I'm not going to. I'm going to come in with that there. And then with these, I'm going to go in with the different sizes. I think perhaps do maybe three coming from the flower towards the image. Let's see how that looks. Now they do have little sticky pads on but I don't really like these. They don't stick particularly well. They will usually give out. She says as it's stuck to her glass. So I'm still going to put a blob of fabric tack on there. I'm just going to go and pop the overhead light on in the room and see if that makes any difference. I don't think it will make much difference. But let's see. There we go. size down
I've got glue stuck on my fingers now, so everything's just going to stick to me and not where I actually want it. Usually the case. A small one. And these could also have colour put on them once they've set in place. Yeah. Go. Could also add dark and getting a lighter green, which I may do. I shall see because I might go back to this. So that is that that page there, and this is our the other side to it. So what I will do. I'm going to stick these two together and I'll use Fabri-Tac to do that so that we have the two sides and that will be the first insert in the book. That's a divider for the pages. I am going to let these dry a little bit more and let them set. So they are the two that we've done today. And once they're nice and dry and set, I might add little bits to them, come back to them, a little bit of sparkle to them. But they are the two pages now that are ready to go in as the inserts. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you again soon for the next one. Bye.